Let us talk about Al-Mujib, the one who answers all supplications. Let me share the story of a, a sister with you. She says it was the first day of Ramadan and my father had a heart attack while he was in the masjid. So they take him to the hospital, I hurry to the hospital and I'm looking at my father. And I see this beautiful old man, the man that took care of me when I was young, the man that changed my diapers, the man that took me to school, the man that tried his best to grant me every single thing that I desire. And I realized what a terrible daughter I was to him at that day. So I made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I said, Oh Allah, please grant him life so that I can show him the same righteousness that he showed me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought him out of the heart attack and gave him life for four, four, for four more months. In these four months, she did everything she possibly could from cooking for him, cleaning for him, driving him to his appointments, any wish or desire that he had, she would be the one fulfilling it. But at the end of the four months, she starts to realize that subhanAllah, life is really getting difficult for my father. He can't go to the bathroom on his own. He can't breathe on his own. And while it's great to have him around the house, it's unjust of me to want him to keep being alive, but be suffering at the same time. So she makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Oh Allah, please do not let him leave this world except in a state of obedience to you. So the day of Jummah comes four months later. He goes out for Salatul Jummah. He comes home with his friends and his family. And it's as if he's perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. Nothing is wrong at all. He spends the whole day together with his family and friends. They pray Salatul Isha and the father excuses himself. He says, I'm feeling tired. So the youngest daughter, she takes him upstairs. And not even five minutes go by, but she starts shouting, everyone come upstairs, everyone come upstairs. So everyone goes upstairs. And you can imagine as if you're walking into that room and it is your own father that his spirit is leaving his body. His eyes are gazing up towards the skies and his spirit is leaving. And as that is happening, he's saying, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajim. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajim. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajim.